Okay, once you finish coloring all the pieces to your room, you have your prints glued in place and you've got your details outlined with either um, colored pencil or Sharpie marker. Now you're ready to start to construct your room. So, um, on the template, the practice template that you got, I had written down um, some words that said cut and fold. So if you did not trace these triangle pieces on your final, you need to go back to the light table, put your rough draft underneath, and trace those lines. Then if you did not write the words cut and fold, that's okay. The ones you cut are the two lines on either side of the floor and the two lines on either side of the ceiling. So that's what I'm going to start with. Scissors and glue are in the middle of the room. So I'm going to carefully cut along both sides of the floor and I'm going to cut until I get to the corner of the back wall. I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to turn and cut the two sides that were along the ceiling all the way to the back wall. And the diagram on the board is also explaining that um, it's the blue lines that you're cutting. Okay, <clears throat> so I don't cut anything else, but now I'm ready to fold. So the lines that you fold are the ones touching the um, edges of the walls on the top and the bottom, plus all four sides of your back wall. So, um, when you fold, you want to be as careful as you can to keep that fold right along the edge of the room because the more precise you are when you fold, the more precise your pyramid's going to look when you glue it together. And if you accidentally tear something, we can always glue or tape things back together, so just let me know if you ran into that problem. Okay, so once I finish folding along the diagonal wall pieces, then I also need to fold along all four walls, or all four sides of the back wall. <coughs> okay, so when I finish this, it's going to kind of look like a cross. So now I'm going to carefully fold each side of the back wall. And when you do this, you might notice that some of your glued down pieces started to separate. That's okay, you can just add more glue. Okay, so now, when I finish, it's going to kind of start to stand up on its own, and now I'm ready to do the gluing. So we're still using a glue stick, and what you're going to be gluing is um, the triangle pieces. So the floor is going to overlap uh, to match that diagonal, and you're just going to be putting glue inside those triangle shapes. So it might um, help you to draw uh, this edge where you might hold it in place and then draw a line here so you know that you're just putting glue down there. And you want to be generous with the glue, meaning use a lot so that it really sticks well. It's purple so you can see where you've placed the glue. Okay, then I'm going to Fold that, get it right on that diagonal edge, and now I'm pinching with my fingers behind on the back, pushing it down in the front. And if it's not right on that edge, slide that over until it is. And I'm going to repeat this with the other side. And I would be tracing with a pencil, I just don't have one near me. <coughs> okay.
All right, when I finish, I'm going to let that dry. Um, <clears throat> so really, the next class period is when I'm going to be finishing the rest of this. Um, but I'm going to show you just with a practice one what we're going to do next. So there was a side that said, do not draw here. That edge, we're going to be um, folding back behind. And then the same on the opposite side where it said, do not draw here. Fold that back behind. Um, but now when you look at it from the inside, you're going to have pieces that overlap in the corner. So what I'm going to do is cut away those little extra pieces. And then <laughs> these corners that are still sticking out, I'm going to cut those corners straight up and down. Because what we're going to end up doing is using those corner pieces as tabs to glue this to a background paper. Okay, so when I open those tabs, it should now be in a straight line all the way down on both sides because those tabs are going to get folded back underneath. So now when you look at it from the bottom, you've got these extra pieces that are going to be used to help glue down this to your background paper. So I have a bunch of construction paper and you get to pick a color that you feel like matches your room and is going to frame your room well. So I went with orange because I had a lot of orange um, in my room design right here. 